Today we're going to, I'm going to teach you about a sub-Q injection. I'm going to go ahead and gather my supplies. I have a 2x2, two two, some alcohol wipes, I have my medication, and my insulin syringe. I have my gloves and my hand gel at the bedside also. Um, before you give any medication, you need to have your six rights in order. That's the right patient, the right medication, right dose, right route, right time, and right documentation. Um, also, you will assess your patient to find the best site for that subcutaneous injection. Most people are, are good, um, most people have better absorption in their abdomen, but you'll have to make sure that there's no rashes, no abrasions, no bruises, or any pain in the area that you'll be injecting. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands um, and get my equipment ready. I'll open up my syringe and pop the top off of my medication. In this case, I'm going to be giving 20 units of insulin. This is Lantus insulin. <clears throat> I get my equipment ready by opening up my, my two by two and a couple of alcohol wipes to get ready. I'll go ahead and take my insulin syringe Take one of the alcohol wipes, wash off the rubber stopper, clean off the rubber stopper, pull back to 20 units because that's the same amount of medication that I'm going to give. I have 20 units of air that I will inject into the middle of the vial, straight down, inject the air, invert the vial, aspirate the air. I'm going to aspirate the medication, which is 20 units, and recap the vial, I mean recap the syringe, place it in the tray. I'm going to go to my patient bedside. I will cleanse the site. pinch the skin, cleanse the site with alcohol, go ahead and pick up my syringe, take the cap off, hold the syringe like a dart, elevate the subcutaneous tissue, inject the needle at a 45 degree angle, support the hub of the needle of the syringe with my hand, and press in the plunger to administer the medication. I'll go ahead and take the needle out, cover it with a 2x2, two two, retract the needle, this one retracts by pushing in the plunger, and get uh, dispose of that in a sharps container. Go ahead and assess the site, make sure that there's no bleeding or bruising, and the patient has, has tolerated the procedure well, then you would go ahead and take your gloves off and document your medication.